What is participating convertible preferred stock or PCP stock? Well, this is the most common type of preferred ownership interest used in venture financing of startup ventures. The reason is because of the unique characteristics of this preferred stock that specifically relate to participation rights and convertibility into common shares. Okay, so let's start with the conversion right. There are two major applicable provisions to convertible preferred stock. One is voluntary conversion and the other is mandatory conversion. Voluntary conversion means that the holder of the preferred stock can convert the preferred share into common stocks at a predetermined conversion rate. And that might also include anti-dilution protection or definitions of what a fully uh, diluted conversion means. So you can define that further. And it allows, once again, not only for the inclusion of uh, anti-dilution protections, but assurance once again that the preferred shareholder has the option of whatever rights are entailed in the preferred shares or being on equal footing as common shareholders. Voluntary conversion. Mandatory conversion feature is a right for the company or protection for the company such that if the company is going through a financing or a public offering or acquisition whereby having a class of preferred shares such as this one would interfere with the transaction or cause issues, the company can force mandatory conversion of preferred shares as a class collectively into common shares, again, based upon the conversion rate and uh, specifics as negotiated between the investor and the company originally. So that's what conversion is. Next is the participation rights, and this is paired with a liquidation preference. So most investors, when they invest in a startup venture, they put in money and they want to make certain that they receive back their money before any other investors or shareholders receive any money. The way they do this is they incorporate a liquidation preference into their rights. What this means is I get a preference in distribution if the company is sold or if the company is going to make a distribution from an issuance of equity. So generally liquidation preferences will be more than one time the investor's money. It'll be two times, three times, it, sometimes even more. So if I invest $100 in the company and I have a three times liquidation preference, it means I will receive $300 upon the liquidation of the company before any other investor receives any return on their investment. So this liquidation preference is a huge benefit and it's negotiated in almost every uh, financing round by, uh, by an investor who receives preferred sh stock or shares. You pair that with participation rights, which means after the investor receives his or her pro liquidation preference. So in my scenario, I received my $300. Afterwards, the remaining funds that are raised as part of the liquidation have to be distributed to the shareholders or owners. Participation rights state that the holder of the preferred shares participates or receives a percentage of that distribution even after receiving the liquidation preference. So I've already received my $300. If I have a 10% participation right, if the company distributes another thousand dollars, then I get 10% of that because I'm participating at a 10% rate. And once again, this is generally subject to some form of catch-up right that other investors could at least receive a, their return on investment, um, a one-time liquidation preference before I get to participate. But nonetheless, I get to continue participating in any distribution from the company. So these standard features are the most common features you'll see in the preferred shares received by investors in startup ventures.